From the time I was little, I've always wanted to be an actress. I love being in front of the camera. I like, I like being the talent, like acting and all that kind of stuff. I love dancing even. So it's like all that kind of stuff is really important to me. And I've never really put myself out there. I've taken a lot of acting classes. I've been in some student films and I've done my own stuff. Um, but I've never really fully just said, this is the direction I want to go in and committed to it. I'm very afraid. I don't want to, I, I just, I'm afraid. And we'll discover both of us at the same time, what the hell it is I am afraid of and what has been holding me back. So I'll talk to you about getting in shape, losing weight, getting healthy fitness wise, um, getting headshots, getting an agent, but the headshot agent stuff, that's like way down the road. Cause number one, I have to get my butt in shape big time. I used to be a runner. I used to be in shape, but I've battled with this my whole life. I mean, up and down, up and down. And it has a lot to do with self-esteem and self-worth and, oh, do I really, you know, I always wanted to be the non-threatening friend type, like, oh, I'm just funny and nice. Like I'm not threatening anybody. But forget that. I'm a, if I threaten people, then I threaten people because I know what's in my heart and I don't care anymore. And I want to have a kick-ass body. I want to feel physically fit. I want to dress the way I want to dress. I want to have, you know, headshots. And, you know, I want to see myself in, in film and go, yeah, I'm proud of myself. That's me. I, that, I feel like I'm seeing me. Now when I see pictures of myself or I see, you know, I see what I look like. I'm like, that doesn't feel like me. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like me. I'm hiding. I see it when I look at a picture. I see that I'm hiding and that bothers me and I want to kind of come out. How I'm getting my filmmaking screenwriting career off the ground, but mostly the filmmaking because right now I am in production with my feature documentary. I have dreams, damn it. And I have over 40 hours of footage. Um, I was trying to make Sundance last September, as many of you know that are regulars here. The Martin Luther King weekend marks my one year anniversary of starting production on my documentary about dreams. What better time to start production? And it was a very exciting time because I was up at the up at a winery in Northern California talking to a guy starting a winery up there. And I got called to do a radio interview in Chicago and um they talked to me about dreams and the film and everything. It was very exciting. I love to be able to, any chance I get to put this message out into the world because I want everybody to live their sky life. I want everybody to manifest that dream that's in their heart because I think the planet would be a better place if people just allowed themselves to dream and to live that dream. It's not enough just to dream, but sometimes people just don't even have that. They don't even have con like any kind of thing over their own mind. They don't even let their spirit talk to them. So that's the first step is to dream. And then the second part is to make that dream real. So I, that's my number one thing. So last year I started production on the documentary and you know, I had great experiences. I've shot a lot of great stuff, but I realized when I was editing that I'm missing from this whole thing and I'm going to be the central thing that's going to tie everybody else together. It's told through my eyes. And I realized, why aren't I like doing this whole thing? Like what is going on? And I just realized, I just don't feel good about myself. I don't want to see myself on camera. And I was kind of trying to do it without doing that. But then I, I definitely want to be in it. So I was just, anyways, so my journey now with this blog series is to get, get myself ready, which was the first one in front of the camera stuff, but also behind the camera stuff, really kind of outlining exactly how do I want to do this. And I'll talk with you. I'm going to walk you through it. Like you're just going through this whole thing with me and I'll show you some of the footage I have so far that no one has seen yet. Not even the people that were shot have even seen this. I'll show you some of that footage. And if you want to give me feedback or advice, I'm, you know, normally I hate it, <laughs> but, but I've made some really great friends here on YouTube and I value your opinions and even some new friends that I haven't even met yet. So I would love to hear your feedback or opinions on any of the stuff I'm talking about or footage or whatever. And also I'll talk to you about industry events that I go to and how I'm networking and what I'm ultimately leading up to with the film is entering it into the Sundance Film Festival for next year. And right now the Sundance Film Festival is going on. This is the 2008 Sundance Film Festival. And it's very hard for me in a way because I should be there, you know, in a way. But I know that what's meant to happen has happened and I'm okay with that. So the entry for Sundance Film Festival 09 is in September. That's the deadline. 
So I have X amount of months to get to that point. So that's kind of what I'm bringing you along with. And I'm, you know, not only is it about finishing filming the documentary, I need to edit it. I need to do the post sound and all that kind of stuff. Um, working, still trying to get some investors. I might have one private investor soon, which is really exciting. Someone who really believes in the project. Um, and, you know, hiring a producer's rep, which is someone that helps you get into festivals, but also helps um, broker deals so you're not kind of out there by yourself. They're sales agent or producer's rep or whatever. Um, and if anyone out there is a filmmaker and you have ideas of people you think I should talk to, please bring it on. Email me. Um, m private message me. Do whatever you want to do. I'm more than willing to listen and give it a try. And also I'll be getting a film publicist. I'm really into publicity. I, I mean, I'm a firm believer. You got to put your stuff out there. How do you expect people to know you're there? So, um, so that'll be the behind the scenes stuff, the behind the camera stuff. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I know I talked for a long time. If you're, if you're new to my channel, welcome. But let me just tell you, I go on tangents. I'm tangent Tanya, but I like tangents. They kind of feel good. This video blog series and pretty much probably all of my video blogs, I, I kind of just go where the energy is because I feel like there's a purpose to my randomness. It's sort of, sometimes I sort of end up in a place that I didn't plan on when I started talking, but I believe that if I'm talking from my heart and it feels, I feel passion when I'm talking about it, that it's something that needs to be put out there for myself mostly. And then hopefully for somebody else, who knows? Okay, so for the final thought for this video, I want to talk about one thing right now. And I've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about it again. And that is... And that is... Fear. Fear is an ugly little thing. It can protect you, but it can also hold you back. And... Fear can keep us from living the life we're meant to live. It has to be confronted. Never let fear in the driver's seat of your life. Ever. And you can tell when it's there because you start to feel like everything's hell in a handbasket. And you're like, why is everything so crazy and hectic and negative and scary? And then you look to the front seat of your car and you see this ugly little fear mongrel part of you driving. The car of your life. So... One of my things that I am freaked out about is meeting people from YouTube. Freaked out. Totally freaked out about it. I don't know why I'm afraid of it. It's so weird. I go to events all the time. I meet people all the time. But there's something about meeting my friends and people I don't even know yet from YouTube that scares the living crap out of me. And actually, right now, there's a YouTube gathering three miles from my house, just where I was the night before last at Hollywood and Highland when I brought you the winner of the Cloverfield contest and I went there by myself and blogged on the street. I can do that, but I can't meet people from YouTube. I mean, there's so many people like Sam Proof. He lives in Hollywood. That's three miles away from me. Why can't I just go to have coffee with him? I love him. He's awesome. You know, Dale ATL too. I would have loved to have met him at the South Tuber thing. Anne Spade. I totally want to meet her. I consider her like a good friend. I want to meet her. I would have loved to have gone to New York. And I couldn't I couldn't go to New York though cuz I was really busy that was during the whole craziness of Transformers or the LA Film Festival. That's why I couldn't go. But this one, Project Blog Spear, he's going to be there. I feel horrible. I totally want to meet so many people. There's so many people that I want to meet in LA that are YouTubers and I'm just terrified. I'm terrified. Just the thought of it, I just, I freak out. I'm like, oh my God, I can't even, I can't do it. And so I wanted to launch my, I have recorded this intro blog for the Dream Series like three times and I've taped over the tapes because I don't like what I'm saying. And so I figured, look, this is Martin Luther King weekend. It's all about dreams, number one. Number two, it's a year anniversary of me starting production on my documentary. And number three, this is the date of the YouTube gathering three miles from my house that I didn't go to because I don't feel good about myself, that I totally wanted to go to, that I would love to have gone to, and I didn't go to 
because I don't feel good about myself. So what better day to launch my first blog and getting this dream out there, getting myself to step into my dream and to live my dream. So there you go. There I am. I'm all out there. That's it. That's my dreams come true in 08. Um, I hope you stick around and I hope you get something out of this. And again, if you have any questions or suggestions of anything you'd like me to talk about, please feel free to email me or to send me a personal message. I'd be more than happy to um, read it, laugh, and blow it off. I'm just kidding. I will totally um, not laugh. No. I'll read it and I'll pay attention to it. Sky Life Productions. What's your dream?